Today, I'm gonna to give you five reasons why Christians need to start caring about their health more. We've been in it so long, it's normal. They say when you wanna know about the water, don't ask the fish. That's us in America when it comes to poor eating and obesity in particular. In fact, three out of 10 of Americans are obese today in 2016. That is insane. The health issue, the epidemic in America is a real issue. It's not a trivial issue that we can just uh, throw by the wayside by saying, maybe I should work out a little more, maybe I should eat better. We need to actually address this issue. And I think for the Christians watching in particular, this is a very big issue. It's a big issue for everyone, but I think for us in particular, we need to address a few things that uh, when we open up our Bible, the word that we claim to live by and we see what it says, oftentimes uh, the way we're living our lives when it comes to our health does not add up with what we're uh, claiming to believe wholeheartedly. So we must address these issues. So I'm going to give you five reasons Christians need to care more. Number one, believers are supposed to be distinct. That means we're supposed to be distinct in belief and action. That's important. We're not supposed to look like the rest of the world. The rest of the world has a significant, well, the rest of the world, America has a significant eating problem. Food has become a king for a lot of Americans. That's not supposed to happen to us. We're supposed to be very distinct. So when the rest of the world decides to eat at places like Golden Corral and McDonald's uh, three or four times a week or just destroy your wife's delicious home cooking six, seven times a week and you're getting bigger and you're going in for medication constantly, that's not distinct. That's normative. You are just like everybody else in the world. So Jesus actually says, the, the Bible says that we're supposed to be very distinct in our action and our behavior. So when people look at us, they'll see us and go, why is that person doing what they're doing? Now, I know you're thinking that might apply to some of the, uh, you know, the ceremonial and moral law in the Old Testament and the things that Jesus said, but also applies to the way God created the world. So when people look at us as examples, they should say, well, why is this person eating this way? And, and my response and your response should be, I believe that God has called us, has created everything good, and has called us to eat the way he wants us to eat. So that's very important. Number two, the food we eat today isn't the same food that Jesus ate. I, I think the number one rebuttal to anyone wanting to eat healthy is, especially when it comes to bread, for instance, is, well, Jesus ate bread. Well, why shouldn't we? Let me stop you right there. The bread that we eat today is not the same. So the Wonder Bread or the uh, Safeway Select brand that you have in your, uh, in your pantry that's lasted for a week or two, or even the Dave Mike's Killer Bread or whatever it is that you buy, um, that's not the same bread that Jesus ate. The bread we eat today has been cross-bread five times over to, to manipulate the texture, the taste, the consistency of the bread, so that way people like us would, would eat it more. You'll, you'll probably know that a lot of the bread today is much softer or much more dense than some of the bread that Jesus ate. That's because it's been cross-bread. And uh, studies show, and I'll include that down below, that some of these, uh, some of these cross-breedings actually have contributed to the rise in celiac uh, diseases and gluten-free intolerance, so uh, or gluten intolerance rather. So if you're kind of wondering what's up with everyone getting gluten allergies these days, some of it's fad, but a lot of it is actually has a lot to do with the way bread's been manipulating, manipulated. So the food that Jesus ate isn't the same as the food that we're eating now. So you can put your uh, Iron Kids bread away. Jesus did not turn uh, break that up for communion. Number three, our mental and physical performance is absolutely corrupted by the way we eat. Think about it. You roll out of bed, you grab some microwave oatmeal, whatever you eat for breakfast, you, you jump in your car, you slug down coffee, and maybe that's 7.30 by then, but by 10.30, 11 o'clock, you're already starving for more food. So you eat some more, and then you have a late lunch around 1, and then you eat again at 3.30, and then you eat again at 6, and then you eat again right before you go to sleep and we're just constantly eating and we're so locked in, we're so connected to our kitchens that we can't even live the life we're supposed to live. That's because we're on these uh, glucose roller coasters all day from all of the different foods that we eat from the, the junk food in the break room, like uh, again, the donuts or the muffins to these gr uh, marketing granola bars that tell you they're healthy, but they're actually packed with things like sugar and, and other and, and grains and, and high fructose corn syrup and all of these other things. I say all that to say that our physical performance and our mental performance is absolutely inhibited by the way we're eating. Now, as believers in Christ, our goal is to, to proclaim the mission of Christ 
throughout the land. Now we can't do that effectively if we're constantly looking what time the next meal is going to start. I'm convinced that many of us have never felt optimal uh, health-wise, physically and mentally ever because we've been on this glucose roller coaster, or we're dealing with brain fog constantly all day, that we've never even felt good enough to do the mission that Jesus has given us. Jesus didn't walk around uh, with brain fog, all disoriented, wondering with the next meal's coming, thinking about bread because it's 2.30. So we can get rid of our 2.30 feelings by just eating healthy, and, and you can skip the five hour energy, just uh, have something good and positive to eat for yourself, and I'll provide some resources below and uh, you won't have to deal with that issue. Number four, our longevity is hindered. So the last point, we talked a little bit about our quality of life. This is our quantity of life. All of us, it, it, people who are in ministry, people who are Christians have heard Paul say that we need to finish, run the race well and, and finish the race well. Well, how early do you wanna finish that race? Do you, wanna, do you wanna finish the race at 48, 49? Do you wanna lose your memory with early onset dementia or Alzheimer's at 55, 56 years old, which is happening because Alzheimer's dementia are actually happening earlier in life due to things like uh, fake sugars, aspartame, and some of the gluten, uh, the glucose that's in the brain, some of these things that are happening. So how early do you want to finish this race? I want to run the race as long as possible. I want to live with my family as long as possible. I want uh, the people around me uh, as long as possible. So uh, it's important for us to put the correct and proper fuel in our body so we can last uh, to the end. My last point is this, God cares about your body. Yeah, he doesn't care necessarily if you have ripped abs or if you can do uh, 335 on your bench press, but he does care about your body. In fact, Paul, the Apostle Paul says something about uh, our body being a temple to the Lord. If our body is a temple to the Lord, then we shouldn't uh, blaspheme that temple by, by destroying it with chemicals and things that God never created and God never intended it, uh, it to be in our body. And, and for those who say that may, maybe God doesn't care about their body, I would say I have a very hard time saying God doesn't care about anything. I think God cares about every single thing he's ever created, and that includes our bodies. And so we need to be mindful of that. Thanks for checking out the show. Hey, I wrote a blog on this. It's in some greater detail. I'm going to include that in the show notes. Feel free to click around, check out some other videos on the site.